universe has changed their cyphers, and our code breakers aren't getting anywhere. I've got our best team working on shit. But ensuring Citadel's system's integrity is just gonna take time. If we can get some of their field encryption tools. My wife has just sent back to active duty, and I'm about to be well, shipped out to the They hit Larry? How are we supposed to predict the moves of an enemy we don't understand? Divert to Crap. Do we have any AI enabled fragments of Sovereign? Any Reaper projects? supplies. Thank you. Come again. It's my money and I'm closing my account. It means I haven't found any reliable pictures. Cerberus trap? These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? I just don't understand. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help? Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Palavin, my friend. We're in hell. You should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. Cerberus caught C-Sec by surprise last time. You need to make sure that never happens again. That's what I'm saying. Forget the small stuff. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems. Power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. it looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the Embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Rules be damned. People have a right to defend themselves. If you start selling weapons to everyone on the Citadel, C-Sec will shut this whole place down. C-Sec couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take them to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? Then I'll go to the wards and sell to the back room at Purgatory. People are already scared. If you violate weapons laws, they'll just be scared and... Would a bunch of civilians shooting at anything that moves make the Citadel safe? Welcome to Agor Munitions. The commander's right. Maybe if the council organizes a civilian militia with training. Otherwise, they'll just panic. Our customer service kill. specialists just... are always interested in purchasing new technology. I know, but second-guessing CSEC isn't the way. What if we submit a proposal to start a militia? Thank you for shopping at Agor Munitions. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Armory. 
All Citrutine Armory products include a lifetime guarantee for performance. See our Extranet site for details. Professional grade we equipment at reasonable visit. prices. That's Citrutine. Hello, Shepard. Welcome to Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Shoot smart. Shoot Nosastra. Thank you for shopping at Nosastra Sporting Goods. No, actually. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Thank you for shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go to the Turian Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, blue rolls of helium. Security vids bring me a warrant. I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect you. Hell of a job I'm doing. See those scorch marks? Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. We're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you, Commander. Coming to Serta. How can we help you? Be safe. Can I help you? I'm looking for a drill named Thane Krios. Well, we have a Drell, but not under that name. He was injured. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel's syndrome. At its worst, Keppel's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions, but frankly... There was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. Is he still alive or not? Mr. Creo slips in and out of consciousness, and the outlook isn't good. It's hard to tell how much time he has. When he's awake, he's pretty lucid, never forgets anything. I think that helps. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. 
I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, <clears throat> I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Thane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... <coughs> Kalahira, mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Kalahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. <coughs> Kalahira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koyad, <coughs> you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. Kolyat? There's something I don't understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long. Patience, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help Everyone makes sacrifices in wartime. You'll make yours sooner or later. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Dogging Bay E24. Emergency needs to understand. Help. Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vas, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. 
There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni-Tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. I think it needs to be more about the refugees. Yes, that's just what this documentary needs. Yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are aligned. Please, we just need more food. I have a little. I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. Assistant Commander Shell, I've contacted Cerberus, and it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. I recovered your pillars of strength from the Kite's Nest. They're yours. Okay. Waiting in Bay D-20. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. Egg his survival at 50-50. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <coughs> Every Batarian with someone on Aratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher the colony. Only regret... <coughs> Don't have the strength to... <sighs> I destroyed Aratot's Relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. <coughs> Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died. About how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry. If that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <coughs> If you have any real guilt, show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. Your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Spectre status recognized. Please One select. moment, please. Now arriving at ward level, Purgatory. You do not understand. Has the head. Good. 
concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured, it was stupid. No, the problem is that our people are terrible at making the war. Look who's here. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? How do you plan on taking Omega back? I think I'm going to employ violence. I'm going to slap Omega right out of the elusive man's greedy little hands. What exactly have I acquired? An army that's willing to fight dirty, to do the things your respectable militaries won't do. Eclipse Max and Vorcha Legions are excellent candidates for vanguards in any ground offensive. Well worth the little song and dance I had you perform, I'm sure. Whatever you say, Arya. Don't be a stranger. One moment. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Spectre status recognized. One moment. Docking Bay E-24, emergency civilian housing. I believe those are my credits. About time.
I fixed the sabotage. The Metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. Shepard. Shepard, did I help? Yeah, Conrad. You helped. I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chellick showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... you saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The Alliance is posting us to an Ezo mining facility on Zani. It's a low-gravity planet. Toxic atmosphere. You'll be expected to maintain full survival here. Yeah, Any questions? Security at Sonax, and there was definitely Prothean tech on Garbug. No I know the Valhalla threshold not. is Reaper territory now, but Prothean tech could help the crucible. Shepard, I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head, make sense of it. Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with Adina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a specter, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah, but it sure turned into a mess. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. I can't believe it came to that. We were so close to... Ash, it's okay. We figured it out. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Permission granted. Couldn't do this without you. I'll grab my gear. And Ash? Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, sir.
Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy, and in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Goddamn Cerberus bastards. And Udina too. Son of a bitch. That's crap. Udina made a deal with Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? Yes. I was visiting my family during a university holiday. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? There's no way to be certain, but I've got a definite possibility. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. <laughs> 